Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing? Today we got a Kenmore gas dryer and it doesn't heat. Okay, let's see what it does here. Let's push the start button. Oh, no power button. And it's going to be noisy. And we're going to look. And here's a little disclaimer for you. Oh, okay. Well, I can, I can leave. Oh, okay. So, the screws on the bottom of that panel that will come off. Screws on the bottom here and there. Take this front panel off and screws on the back here, which I've already taken off. I want to look at that. Looks a little bit kinked. And then we can take this top panel off. And then we can loosen this. It's like they lost a lost a flapper. Yeah, that one's running without a flapper. Normally these things will rattle until they just fall off. But we have to take this off in order to get that front panel off so we can check if there are no fuses underneath. Remove fuse underneath there. <laughs> okay, so there's one little clip here for the wire on the control panel. Take that off. Looks right in there. Who knows what lurks underneath the dryer. Okay, then this pant part here, that brace, comes off. This comes off. Four screws basically hold it in place. Got wires, I leave the wires connected normally unless I have to remove them. Then I can take this bottom panel off normally. And I can get to the thermo fuse and some of the other components. Take the lint filter out. And we'll check it. That was the problem right there. We've got poor flow happening. Found all the screws for flapping. Yeah, flapper. 